Hey everyone, a cool video to show you the first three production samples of the snow speeder. So what we do here is we test all the molds, all the pieces and all the production parts that we uh, have designed and produced and start with the first three, as you can see, for the two different variants of the snow speeder. See how everything fits together, how it can be painted, lights and everything. As soon as we have finished this, we can then test out how everything goes in assembly. Usually we do a couple of uh, small changes here and there, make sure everything fits, make sure like this you can see it can stand on its own landing skids, testing out how to paint uh, and weather, if there's an a more efficient way or a less efficient way, in this case with an optional acrylic display stand that the group has asked for. So a small acrylic display stand was scheduled as you can see on the product page, but with, because of the size of the weight and the fact that people wanted a banking uh, uh, angled option like this, we are looking into how to make this optional display stand. Of course, we also test to see uh, how the, the Hot Toys snow speeder Luke Pilot fits in. As you can see, he fits in perfectly. There's a room for a gunner in the back. So overall, we're very happy with how this turned out, but there are a couple of changes that the group requested that we, of course, listened to. You see the wider, lighter panels. Now, that is accurate in the sense that there should be a paint difference between those panels, but the, the difference is a bit too much. So I'm going to be toning that down. Uh, in terms of the interior, we're going to be adding a decal to that gunning station. Now, the weathering, we might do a little bit more paint chipping. So overall, uh, listen to the group feedback, do a little update. I will show you some more after I've updated it, especially, with, like I said, with the lighter panels, they pop a little bit too much. One other thing that we need to change is the width of the front orange and gray line and we need to make sure there's a little bit of spacing around the front intakes the their small vents the small squares in that line and there should be a little bit of gray space around that that is currently missing so that leaves the final thing to address and a question i get asked a lot when do pre-orders close now if you're part of the facebook group or watched any of my old youtube videos you will have heard me mention that i will stop making extras so like basically building room into a batch or production edition size and that's because i've been burned too many times by that especially on the star wars stuff so uh, that means i'm only making exactly as many units as there have been pre-ordered by a set date and i try to push that date back as far as i can for the snow speeder uh, with my suppliers, I've been able to push that date back to the end of February. So that means starting from the publishing date of this video, have about six weeks to place your pre-order to make sure your order gets counted any time after that. So then there's the gamble of putting yourself on the wait list, but I just want to be fair. There is a huge wait list for a lot of our stuff from the 1966 to the, uh, the Bat Signal to the Land Speeder and other Star Wars stuff. So... I hope you're happy with what you're seeing. We sure are. And as soon as I have an update on the new paint job, I will show it to you. And thanks for watching.